over the years, Prophet Ayodele Elijah has said he has warned that there will be anarchy in the country before the kidnapping, killings, and banditry began in the country. God had shown me that kidnapping would take a horrendous dimension in Nigeria. But some people mocked me, saying, Oh, this is rubbish. Look, my prophecy is not permutation or something done for popularity. If it is about popularity, I have already gained popularity. I have gained fame here and all over the world. Before Joe Biden was picked for to run for U.S. presidency, I had prophesied that he was the candidate who will deliver victory to the Democrats. Before Kamala Harris was chosen, I also said it also before the death of John Magufuli of Tanzania. I said, let's pray against the death of a sitting president in Africa. Whatever I said, I have the records, but our leaders don't listen. I warned her ahead of time against the death of Prime Minister of Cote d'Ivoire, Ahmed Bakayoko, who died recently. Prophecy is a warning against an impending doom, but it depends on how one understands it and acts upon it. Some people read prophecy as if they are reading a novel. When I prophesied about football score in the match between Lesotho and Nigeria. Some people mocked me and said Niger bets. What is Niger bets in that? Nigerians are not serious. I prophesied the tribunal victory of President Akufuado of Ghana and when some said Ado will not be sworn in, I said that he would be sworn in. So when you have something and you don't know how to appreciate or handle it, then you are in trouble. Nigeria is in trouble because we are taking God for granted. Technically, governments have failed. Governments and Nigeria needs to Nigerians need to seek the face of God to move this country forward. I am not saying they should come to me. They have their pastors and imams who governments can go to or consult. The state of the nation is a clear testimony that the APC led government has failed. They will continue to fail monumentally if they don't watch their steps. Remember I said in 2016 that IPOB will cause issue and Namdekano was not ordained to actualize IPOB's fight or go. Nigeria will break but not now. No government is ready to revert to federalism but how but because of their selfish interest a lot of things are wrong and no coup we succeed in Nigeria at this moment. Nigeria has gone beyond the level of coup, but there will be segregation, anarchy, and bloodbath. I said all this, and they have come to pass in the name of God, not in my own name. It is now left for the government to follow the way of God, or see ignore, or see ignore it. Feel superior, and things would get completely out of hand. Remember precisely in 2018, I prophesied that. Nigeria will go into recession. Today, is Nigeria not in recession, so the nation has collapsed and only God will help us to resurrect it in terms of security, Nigeria has failed. There is, however, a chance that there are people who can help the situation, rule out death of sitting president, past president and all of that. But I tell you, politics without money is equal to zero. Those who do not have money cannot win election. Nigeria will break whenever, whether we like it or not. Only God will help us to exceed 2023. Or is it 2035? Nigeria will break. Mark my word. The people who can rescue the situation, I will tell you, but not in this edition. I will reveal those people in July when I will unveil our last prophecies. When I told PTV that only Senator Bukola Saraki would give them victory in 2019, they picked the wrong person. And what happened? PDP lost. Now, ABC should shift their party convention. They must work on it very intelligently. If they hold the convention now, it will break the party and that may pull the party down if they are not careful. <laughs> and I uh, said, Abuba Hagumi is just like uh, Ezazaki. If Ezazaki can be locked up, Gumi should also be locked. Mesi Allah people should be locked up. It is the group behind S-Men just like politicians are behind Boko Haram. Look, these attacks that have started in Imo State is going to shake Nigeria. 
do you know why the crisis in Imo is getting worse? It is because God did not ordain Hope Uzodima to be governor of Imo State. He just hijacked it and that is why they are dead in the state and he will pay for all of that. Hope Uzodima did not win that election. Father A.G.K. Mbaka's prophecy is not real, not of God. It's deceit. Father Mbaka should come out and apologize to the whole world for misleading them. That is also why the judiciary must review what is going on in Imo State. Hope Uzodima must be removed with immediate effect. The truth is that politicians are the cause of these problems of banditry, killings, kidnapping, esmen and Boko Haram menace in this country. That is what God has revealed to me. I didn't say anybody should not challenge it. But watch it. The situation is not if the situation is not arrested quickly, matters will get worse. And that is why the South West must inject enough money into the operations of its security outfits Amotekun to get the outfits to function properly. Failure to do that, the Amotekun will turn out to be another cause for banditry and kidnapping in the Southwest in the nearest future. South governors, Southwest governors must handle the issue of Amotekun very properly. Politicians have created serious problems for our country and we need God's intervention. They are also confused and mark my word, since we get to understand that the masses will stone governors, former governors, presidents, ex-presidents, ministers and honorable ministers of the state. Vice President Yemi Shibayo has been reduced to a political nothingness. I just pity the man because he has no idea of what is going on. Okay? You can imagine. <laughs> so guys, uh, this man has really been talking. He has been saying a lot of things. And, you know, I think the one that caught, the, uh, caught one's attention is the issue of uh, Imo State Governor uh, Hopu Zodima. Of course, it is saying, it's a common knowledge. Everybody knows that. But you know that the uh, evil tribes, you know, those who, those who are the evil do have once they have power they can do and undo and they will they can turn black to red and they will make you believe that it is red even if this is black you can see it's red but they will tell you it is it is black and there's nothing you can do about it and that is the extent at which these wicked people can go and uh, he's talking about uh, the prophecy made by this man the reverend father agk that it was not god's prophecy that should come out and apologize well all of them everybody will answer answer uh, so is God uh, at the appropriate time so guys let's say your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this